in addition to thinking about your funnel, you know, we also think about well, who is the target audience for our video. Uh, you know, a lot of companies like Vimeo have multiple different segments of users who they target. So for us, you know, we, we target filmmakers, but we also target businesses and brands. And so the types of videos we're going to create will be different for each because we want to produce compelling content that speaks to our target audience. Um, and then the last thing we also look at is the context in which the video is going to be experienced. This is one that's become more important recently um, because of things like social media. So, you know, if I'm creating a video for a landing page, uh, that's very different than if I'm creating a, a 30 second video for Facebook. Because if I'm watching a video on Facebook, I'm likely watching it on my phone and I'm likely scrolling through my feed where there's no sound. And so I need to design the video to be mobile first, and I need to design the video to be understood with no sound. And that's very different than a video that might be on a landing page where I, you know, my, my viewer is sitting at their desk and they're able to experience it fully. Yeah, there's not the, the distractions of, um, you know, being on a social media platform if it is on that landing page. So absolutely get that. So there's, there's various different types and you've got to really understand the, those th three different stages, um, which were uh, context, uh, your audience, and then... And then uh, just the funnel, the and, funnel and your goal. Well. Cool. All right. So then once you've, you've uh, you know, spent some time obviously thinking about this and, and um, probably even surveying your audience, trying to figure that all out um, and, and maybe testing this as well, ultimately, um, how do you go about actually creating uh, the videos? Yeah, so uh, we, we typically, uh, first, the biggest challenge is finding who to work with. And at Vimeo, we're fortunate in that we have uh, in-house production teams. We also outsource um, and use agencies or uh, ad hoc crews. Um, but there, is, there are a ton of amazing uh, video production folks in, um, all over the world. And uh, there's lots of services that even help you find them. And we actually try and do that as well at Vimeo. So uh, it really just depends on the video you're trying to make. Uh, in some cases, you know, where it's a branded video, for example, we will really try and be very hands-on. So we'll have, you know, our own copywriter um, work on the script and the messaging, um, just because it's so specific to, for us. Um, or if we're doing a product demo where we're using a lot of screenshots um, of our own product, it's often easier for us to do that ourselves because we know our product so well. On the other hand, you know, if we're doing a video recap of an event, a recent film festival we were at, or if we're doing, you know, a customer testimonial video, those are examples where, you know, they're really easy to, to find someone to help out with that. All right. So just in terms of, uh, you know, finding the right people, um, the video production itself, how do we, what are some tips that you can maybe give on, on maximizing the return of investment uh, and also trying to just, you know, keep costs under control as well? Yeah, uh, so one of the things that we've done is just work, we find we found a few creators, filmmakers, who we really love, and we'll work with them on a package deal. So an example would be uh, if we're doing a product launch. So let's say for the product launch, we want a product demo video, a marketing video, and we're going to launch a blog series that's going to need six content marketing videos. Uh, working with one filmmaker on a package deal allows us to keep our costs down. It also allows the look and feel of the videos for the entire campaign to be consistent. And so we're relying on one creator or filmmaker to really imagine what the whole campaign looks like. Um, and then you get to, to get all these videos out of maybe one shoot as opposed to having to do six or seven shoots. And that's when it can get really expensive. 